Alright, let's go, go, go! Sarge here. Welcome to another Armor 3 Custom Battles. So today is actually something I wanted to do personally to not only show off a mod, but get everybody hyped up and ready for hopefully the update that is going to be coming out soon. Um, it still is in the works, but I'll get to what I mean about that in just a moment. We're going to have GDI versus Nod from the Command & Conquer universe, or more precisely, the Tiberium universe. And this battle is going to be more based around Tib War 1, or the first Command & Conquer game where GDI and Nod first went at each other and started tearing each other apart. Um, so there's going to be no cyborgs, there's no going to be no sci-fi stuff. It's going to be a little more what it would be modern to futuristic. Uh, so hopefully you guys will enjoy it. Um, I am kind of gotten this idea from the very first game, when, or first game, the first mission in the first game when you play as GDI, the mission where you had to assault from an amphibious landing and take out a small group of Nod forces. Uh, that's kind of the idea of what I was going for, so hopefully you guys enjoy. Um, now, what I meant about uh, the update that is coming. So, right now, there is no infantry units of any kind for the Tiberium Genesis mod, but they're on the way. The mod developer has been telling everybody that it is in the works. It is coming very soon. So... At the time of this video being recording, there is no infantry unit. So if for some reason, like the day of or a couple of days after the infantry units come out, I'll do another video. And it'll be based more on the type, uh, Tib War 2. But for now, we're just focusing on Tib War 1. All right. So like we do with every other battle, we're going to break it down, show what each side is bringing to the battle. And then we're going to play from each side's point of view and then talk about who should have won, who could have won, stuff like that at the end. Um, remember, if you guys want to have your idea for a future Armor 3 Custom Battles video, let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll do my best to make it happen. All right, so let's get it on, shall we? All right. So, first off, green is going to be Nod, and obviously blue is GDI, because GDI is best. All right. So, for over here, for reinforcements for G... Oh, sorry, for the Nod forces, we do actually have a couple of their buggies, because... Um, for GDI, they had Humvees for their anti-infantry, but Nod had Doom Buggies, which had way lower health and everything compared to, you know, the Humvee. But, you know, so they have these, and I'm using a mod that puts these in. These are actually not part of the mod yet. Um, uh, yeah, it's, it's just going to be really, really awesome. Oh, it's going to be fun. So there's five of these going to be rushing in as fast as they can to try to, you know, harass the incoming GDI forces. Everything else in here is going to be pretty much infantry base only. Um, there is a couple of buggies right here to help lay down uh, suppressive fire against oncoming uh, GDI forces. But for the most part, this is going to be an infantry holding only because if you ever, if you ever played the original Command and Conquer game, um, the Nod pretty much just had a lot of infantry and do buggies for a long time. Um, I put up a couple of sand barriers for them to, or uh, sandbags for the help to defend themselves. They obviously have these walls as well. Each squad is made up just like these, and I had to make these guys. Um, and you might be wondering why are they wearing gray? Well, if you ever played the original Command & Conquer, GDI was tan, which I'll get to show you what those guys are bringing in a second, and Nod was gray. So that's why they they have that. And the reason I gave them AK-47-looking weapons is because they're mostly, they're mo not mostly, most of their military comes from third world countries. So AK-47s and stuff like that would be a lot more, you'd see them a lot more than more higher advanced weaponry, like the RPG as well. Um, but they are loaded out, and this is going to be cool. And the reason I gave them Mask 1, it just looks cool. Plus, the Tiberium is deadly, so they're going to need it. Um, 
And, of course, I'll be playing this guy back here when we get to it. So that's what all the squads look like. Um, they're pretty much going to be rushing to these sandbags to try to defend their best against oncoming, oncoming uh, GD light forces. And we have, like, two squads that are going to be back here in the back defending the, these wall sections. Now for a GDI. Oh, this is going to be fun. So over here, we are using a mod that as in the U.S. military from like the 90s because that's more what GDI looked like during that time. Uh, most of these guys are all just carrying M16s. Maybe one guy. Yeah, one guy with the grenade launcher variant of the M16 uh, because, well, Nod had more flamethrowers and RPG guys. Uh GDI had more Grenadiers. I believe that was correct. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's, that's what we're going with. Um, we have four squads right here. They're going to be rushing up to try to attack their forces. Uh, back here, we do have uh, four APCs. Uh, each one has a squad inside. Their job is to get up there and reinforce the front line. They should be dropping off right here and drop, letting the troops go in. But you know how the AI works. Sometimes that's just not the way it works. It, you know, it's called being armored. And then they do have two tanks ready to give support. Now, you might be wondering, isn't that a little much? Yeah, it kind of was. <laughs> because uh, in the first mission, GDI is hitting Nod for like the first time hard with the sledgehammer. So that is why they get these. And plus, they had tanks like this anyway. Uh, Nod eventually had stuff like this. But for the most part, they had things like... Bradleys, and I couldn't find a Bradley that can, <coughs> or a skin for a Bradley that give them a gray color, or else I would give them Bradleys up there. But uh, sadly, no. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, so they're going to be stuck with this. And last but not least, the reinforcements coming in for GDI is going to be over here. It's going to be four squads in two Chinooks. Their job is to pretty much land and give extra support for the ground forces. And they also have these side mounted guns so they can you know spray in so this is definitely a little bit more lenient towards gdi to win but they are going on an uphill battle against entrenched enemies so it should be a little more easy to you know for not to defend um now before you say anything yes the tanks could be a problem <coughs> excuse me <coughs> But uh, they do have a lot of anti-tank up there, so they could take those out as well. These can be taken out by 50 cals, so no need to worry about those not being able to be taken down by anything. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to first play as the Nod Forces. Uh, I thought I'd play as Nod first because I'm going to be more excited to play as GDI because I'm more of a GDI player. But, yeah, hopefully you guys are ready, and without further ado, I'll be right back in just a moment playing as Nod. All right, here we go, playing as the Brotherhood of Nod. All right, I'm excited. Uh, yes, the wonderful glow. It is so pretty. Uh, we'll go around it, though, so we, you know, we don't get killed by Tiberium. That is not a good way to go. It really isn't. Um, so we'll make our way over here and get ready to defend ourselves against oncoming GDI invasion force. Um, I do apologize if this is a little loud. This is the first time recording uh, any Arma 3 after soul logs. Hopefully the sound is pretty good. Um, can we see anything from in here? A little bit of a lag spike. That's not good. Actually, yes, yeah, so we can see just fine from in here. But you don't see him.
you get him? I don't think I got him. That one's suspiciously hovering. I'm not gonna try to go for him. He's too far away. And Whoa! Rounds are bouncing all over the place. Got one. Oh, that's such a good hit. For the Brotherhood. All right, you gotta load another round. Load. Load, load. I hear it. Where is it? Come on, brothers. We got to hold them off. Come on, let me in there. Crap, it's over there. Crap, crap. Shit him, dude. There you go. Another one. Come on, brothers. We gotta hold them. We can hold them. All oh, right, they within the trays. Oh, damn. All right, here we go. Playing as GDI. And I can't wait to get started. We're gonna play this in third person until we get up there, just so we can see what is going on around us. All right, boys, let's get up there. Let's take care of this odd cultist. Go home. seconds out, we're going to hit it. Alright, let's go, go, go!
lit up right where I was standing. Someone's fighting his way up there. Better catch up. more than I thought there was. Where the hell is my reinforcements? Seems like I'm the only one assaulting this damn base. Start working our way left. <clears throat> Man, there's Tiberium everywhere. Damn not. Looks like we have secured this little nod outpost. All right. Yeah, I think that'll do it. All right, so that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did putting it together and playing it for you guys. It is awesome, and I cannot wait to see what the developers are going to bring out in the next big update for the Tiberium Genesis mod. Remember, if you guys do enjoy it as well, go check it out over on the Steam Workshop. It is an amazing mod, and a lot of stuff is happening. If you guys go check out the discord of theirs as you guys can see over there there is still a lot of stuff coming and we cannot wait um so for now this is all we get playing a so so tiv war one using a whole bunch of different mods to try to get this to work but i think it turned out okay let me know what you guys think and yes this is video this this is this video is going to have to go to gdi but this is more of a just have fun I wasn't really trying to have one side win over the other, even though GDI won. Um, I was right, trying to recreate the first battle uh, when it, when GDI took on Nod. So that's more what I was trying to do. So if it was not quite what you guys were hoping, I do apologize. Um, I know I normally try to keep it fair in my custom battles, but for this one, it was more of a reenactment. 
and just to show how much I love the Tiberium universe and that I cannot wait for the next big update for the uh, Tiberium Genesis mod to come out. Um, if you guys enjoy this, remember, again, smash and destroy that like button. Leave a comment down below. And if you guys have not already, check out my Discord. Links for that will be in the description down below. Over there, you guys can talk with me, hang out with me, and other YouTubers and other gamers. It's awesome and loads of fun. Hopefully, I get to see you guys over there. Also, if you want to follow the channel and keep up to date what is going on, you can follow me over on my Twitter as well as my Discord. I keep everybody up to date what is going on with the channel over in those two areas. So check it out. Links for all that will be in the description down below. And last but not least, I would like to say thank you so much to my Patreon supporters. Thank you guys so much for going the extra mile to help support the channel. It really means a lot to me. Every dollar does help. So if you want to help support the channel, again, every dollar does help. Um, but if you do not have a spare dollar laying around, one, why would you send it to me? You know, you, you're probably more desperate than I am. Hold on to that dollar. You can still support the channel by just watching these videos, watching every single one from beginning to end, leaving a like, leaving a comment, and sharing these with Everybody you know, get the word out there. Let them know that this is an awesome community, and we are growing, and we are getting better by the day. And until next time, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care, guys, and remember, have an awesome day.